Hello, I'm Cadet Second Lieutenant Hay from the Cinematography class, and I am here with Mrs. Kutzenberger in the Harold James Memorial Library. Ma'am, could you give us a brief history on the Brooks Reading Room? Sure, I'd be glad to. The Brooks Reading Room was created in memory of Oliver Newberry Brooks. He was an ambassador, but more than that, he had three sons graduate from the academy. And when he passed away, his lovely wife and family wanted a memorial for him. So they created the Oliver Newberry Brooks Reading Room. And in this room, we have many treasures. Uh, Mrs. Brooks worked very close with me in creating the atmosphere that she wanted for this room. She wanted a study. She wanted a gentleman's room. She wanted an area for cadets to come and feel comfortable and to be able to read for pleasure as well as study. And so she worked with me in ordering, she wanted leather bound classics in this room. She wanted red leather chairs. She wanted, um, the uh, beautiful prints that you see in this room and she in one of the rooms she ordered original World War I recruiting posters and they're quite magnificent so this is a very special area and we keep it special for the cadets and it's an honor to come in here so the cadets that have a 3.5 and a grade point average and above are the ones that get to use this room and they check in with us at the desk and they come in here and sit quietly read study whatever might be so well thank you ma'am we appreciate it. Yeah, you you're quite welcome hello i'm here again with mrs Katzenberger, and she's going to tell us the story behind harold james memorial library Harold James was a rancher from Prescott, Arizona, and in the 1960s, he became interested in MMA through his friendship with Captain Bill Gary, a retired Marine officer, who is also the founder of the Marine Military Academy. He agreed to serve on the Board of Advisors and did so until his death in 1981. And during this time, Mr. James became one of the major supporters of the school. And at his request, as much of his support received no formal recognition. And so when this library was built and opened its doors at the beginning of the 1993 school year, it was dedicated in memory of Harold James. He was a kind and giving gentleman who touched MMA in a lasting and profound way. Well, thank you, ma'am, very much. Hello, we're here at the Learning Center. Ma'am, could you give us a history? Sure. The Marion Gary Learning Center is a hub of activity throughout the day and the evening in the library. It houses some 20 computers, which have the capability to access all of the library's online reference resources, as well as the internet. Classes, as well as individual cadets, use the Learning Center for a variety of tasks, depending on their curriculum needs. This Learning Center is named for Marion Gary, a Marine Military Academy pioneer in the truest sense of the word. She's not only the wife of Captain William Gary, who is the founder of MMA. She was also the mother of the first cadet and the first librarian of the school. Thanks to Mrs. Gary's dedication and insight, a library was created from basically nothing and now, years later, has culminated in this magnificent Harold James Memorial Library and the Marion Gary Learning Center. Oh, thank you very much, ma'am. The first homepage you are going to see is the Marine Military Academy Research Resources. Under General Research, Student Resource Center, EBSCO. EBSCO's Student Resource Center makes it easy for students to search by keyword or by topic to find the most useful searches. The Literary Reference Center Graphical or the Literary Reference Center Non-Graphical, both are great for finding biographies, plot summaries, criticism, reference books, book reviews, poems, short stories, and classic books along with interviews. Encyclopedia. World Book Online is a portal encyclopedia which has many sites, history and social science resources. Great events from history, 18th century, 20th century, 1901, 1940, 1941 to 1970, and 1971 up to 2000. 
and modern scandals.